Hey, what's going on everyone and uh, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program or reprogram a BIOS chip using this board, which is the CH341A. I got this board from Amazon. I'm going to leave the link down in the description. But it's, it's basically this uh, board here. So uh, it comes with the ribbon cable and this clip, which you can use in order to uh, grab the BIOS chip on the board. So you basically align the contacts on the clip with the pins on the BIOS chip and you can program the BIOS chip on the board, but you can also program the BIOS chip uh, on the clip. So I don't know if you can see it, but inside the clip here, I place a BIOS chip, which hasn't been programmed. Let me see if I can show it to you under the microscope. There it is. As you can see, the pins needs to align with the pins on the clip. All right. So before starting, before you can even use this board, um, there are a few modifications that you need to make. Uh, this board comes from the factory. Uh, the way this board comes from the factory, you will not be able to uh, read or write to a BIOS chip. So um, there are a few modifications that you need to make. So this is the final modifications that I made to the board. I'm, I'm also going to leave the link down in the description to a blog post of how to do this. But basically, it is not that complicated. You need to lift pin 28, which is VCC of U2, and then uh, solder a wire from pin 28 to the uh, middle pin of U1 and then do the same thing with P9 to the chassis of U1. So it's basically, you need to lift pin 28 and then solder a wire from here to here. And then from a P9, also you need to solder another wire to U1. Once you do that, uh, the board should be, uh, you should be able to read and write to the board, I mean, to the, to the BIOS. The reason that you need to make those two modifications is that if when you uh, purchase the uh, the board and you get it from the manufacturer, if you come to the data line, which is this one here, and you measure and you test for uh, for voltage and you measure the voltage that you that you're getting here, you're going to notice that you're going to get five volts instead of three volts. So once you make the, the, that modification, you should be able to get three volts. I don't know if you guys see the meter there; it's kind of dark. But anyway, you should be able to get three bolts on the data line. Okay, so once that's done, um, you're ready to go. For this video, I'm using a Neo Programmer, which I have here. Uh, the first thing, obviously, is to place the virus chip inside the pin or put it on a, on a board. After that, connect the CH341 board to the laptop. Once it is connected, go ahead and click on detect. If everything goes well, it will give you a couple of suggestions of the board that, of the BIOS chip that you're using. Go ahead and select your BIOS chip and click select IC. Okay, so that is the first step. The second step um, is either writing or, or reading from the, from the chip. So in this case, I'm going to read from this from the IC. So I'm going to click read. Okay, so operation was a success. If you want to verify that the data was uh, written successfully to the to the chip, you can read the chip again. So let's do that, and we should get this file here. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it and it was helpful. And uh, as always, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and see you in the next video.